In America, we're all supposed to be equal under the law, every single one of us. That's what the civics books say, that's what we're taught in school. But even now, even here in Manhattan, too often there are two standards of justice, one for the rich and powerful and connected, and another for everyone else. It's not just the cases of the famous and privileged with their high-powered legal teams who manage to escape prosecution. It's the stories of all those who don't. The homeless man who buys food and toothpaste with a counterfeit bill and gets three to six years in jail. The woman living in a shelter, prosecuted for selling a single cigarette on a downtown street. And the countless New Yorkers unfairly held on Rikers Island simply because they can't afford bail. I'm Alvin Bragg and I'm running for Manhattan District Attorney to change that. I'm a son of Central Harlem, a husband and father raising two kids here, and someone who spent the better part of two decades in the courtroom, standing up to the powerful and fighting to get justice. As the Chief Deputy Attorney General in New York State, I oversaw some of the office's biggest cases, from exposing illegal behavior by the Trump Foundation to taking on banks for housing discrimination. And I led the special unit that investigated police-involved killings. As a federal prosecutor, I successfully prosecuted corrupt politicians, Democrat and Republican. I've always fought to defend the rights of those without status or power, the New Yorkers who need justice most and deserve it. As DA, from day one, I'll work to make the office the progressive leader it should be. That means more aggressive steps to reverse mass incarceration, especially in communities of color. It means thorough and transparent investigations of police misconduct and overhauling the sex crimes unit to get justice for victims. It means bringing new funding and focus to reentry programs and refusing to take campaign donations from any lawyer who appears before the office. And it means continuing to keep neighborhoods safe and ensuring one standard of justice for all of us who call Manhattan home. That's what I'm going to do as district attorney, and that's why I'm